Headed out to the lakes today, hoping to find some good old gold rings. I haven't found a gold ring in a while. Since last year, I haven't found a gold ring. Uh, and they just not many in the lakes in my area. There's a lot of tungsten, a lot of silvers, a lot of stainless steel, but where are the gold rings? And uh, so I'm on my way. Hopefully I'll get a gold ring this evening. If I do, I'm gonna definitely turn the cameras on and show you. And if not, you probably won't see this video. So anyway, I'll see you guys out in the water. I haven't been here maybe five minutes and uh, just got that uh, 76 jumping signal and I thought it was just gonna be a Memorial Penny and uh, lo and behold, it came in the same scoop with that uh, Memorial Penny. It was a tungsten ring. Well, that's a nice little ring right there. I'll take that. I haven't been out here five minutes. And already dug a little bit of money and dug that uh, penny and this tungsten ring up. So hopefully we're going to get into some more rings out here as we get a little bit deeper on. So let's keep at it. Well, I'm out in about waist deep water right now and uh, just got me a nice uh, high tone there. Good silver ring. I'll have to check that diamond, see if it's going to be a real diamond. A lot of times the diamond's not real, but in the silver settings. But sometimes if the ring is an old ring, the diamond will be re uh, real if it says sterling, most likely. So it's definitely silver. Uh, nice little baguettes on the side. This is ring number two. I've been out here about 30 minutes and uh, so. Digging a lot of change, a lot of bottle caps, and a couple of rings, so it definitely hasn't been hunted. So let's uh, let's stay at it. Let's uh, see if we can pull out a few more rings. Well, moved on to another lake. Got two rings out of the other one, and uh, got a bad storm coming in here. So I'm gonna try to hit this lake for about 30 minutes. There's nobody here, and so. Maybe I can go really fast, see what I can come up with. So I'll see you at the first five. Just got this 48 signal dug it up end up be a little bracelet here or necklace with a cross on it a crucifix and looks like Mary so it's gonna be kind of a, a Catholic jewelry I guess so anyway preacher digger got his cross and so that's definitely an episode now isn't it? it's not on a ring but I'll take it on a necklace or a bracelet too all right let's keep on looking it's almost over the day daylight's just about gone and not a lot out here today so uh, let's I'm gonna give it about another 20 minutes now since I found this and see what else we can find let's keep on rolling Well, I'm back out at another lake today, and I've been out here about 20 minutes. I haven't found too much, some pull tabs, uh, a penny, but I just got this 50-51 signal, and check that out. It's got, uh, on the back there, on the middle bracket, you can't see it on the GoPro, but it's got some markings. I think this is going to say, it might say, uh, 14 or 10 karat gold. We'll look at it later on once I get a close-up on that. But anyway, that's the first good find out here. So let's keep on going before the rain comes in. Not too far from where I just got that, uh, about chest deep water, where I got that other uh, little necklace thing. And I got this, man, that's going to be a toe ring. That's going to be a big toe that it's sitting on. But anyway, I think it's silver. And uh, it's ringing up real staticky, like a 60-something, uh, because it's not a, a loop there like a ring would be. But hey, I'll take it. Still something out here, so this is promising. Let's keep on looking.
I moved on, it's been a little bit since I found that bracelet and that tooth thing, but I wanted to show you guys kind of a close up here. I found this uh, nice, uh, I thought it was going to be white gold because it's ringing up a 58 to a 61, but it ended up looking at, at the uh, class, it's a 925, what I can see, but there's some more writing on there, but I think it's going to be 925. It's a uh, bracelet to ring up a little different when they're silver than they would like a gold ring or a silver ring. But anyway, that's a good find. I'm glad I came out here today, but I got this other, this wolf. Uh, it looks like a fang, a wolf fang. This is the second one of these I got and it's 925. The wolf in the class was 925. So that's a, that's a neat little find as well. And so I uh, wanted to show you that, but everybody was around me while I go and I couldn't do it. So I'm gonna hunt here just a little bit longer and see what else we can find. And uh, so I've got three things out of here. I'm sure it's been hunted. This is the day after uh, 4th of July. And uh, I got a late start today. I was out here yesterday with the tech. It was just so busy. I did, found a couple of earrings and stuff like that, return one, and, and I found the other one after I found that one. And uh, anyway, it's getting dark, and uh, I'm gonna try to do a little bit more detecting before the alligators come out, so let's get out. I got uh, Jacob and Shay with me here. They came and got me from the other end of the lake, and he lost his tungsten wedding ring, and come down here to see if we can find it. I've already found it, that's down here below, and uh, I'm fixing to turn you around, and we'll scoop it up, and we'll give it to him. All right, we found it right there. Tungsten is ringing up. It's 83, not a 68 like I thought it was. So, thank it. There you go, man. Thank you very much. Well, now y'all can stay married. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, you're welcome. All right, another ring return. Uh, it was good to get that ring return while ago. I was all the way at the other end of the lake, and I just had found this bracelet and this uh, tooth, this weird-looking tooth thing. And uh, I came down here and was able to find that uh, that ring for Jacob and Shay that's been married for one year. So that's a good return. I, I enjoy doing that when I'm out the lake. It's getting pretty late here. I got a 70. I couldn't show this to you. I had a lot of people around me a while ago, but it's a silver ring. It's a little Madonna ring, a little uh, Catholic uh, ring for oh. some, for something. And so, hey, I'll take it. All right, let's keep on going before it gets dark. Well, I literally just got out here. This is my first target, and it was ringing up a 67, and it sounded like a ringtone. And uh, it's a looks like a gold ring with uh, either opals or diamonds. I can't really tell. But uh, hey, that's a nice find. This is the only lake that's ever eluded me a ring. And uh, this is the first uh, ring I've gotten out of this lake. So I'm really happy about that. So, all right, I just got out here. Let's, um, let's keep on going, see what else we can get. Well, I'm out here in a little bit deeper water right now, and I came across a 76, and I'll tell you what, every time I get a 76, I really don't want to dig it, because it's always a stinking Lincoln. But I dug it, and I couldn't find it. I couldn't get it up, and so I left. I said, well, 76, the last three rings I've dug in the past, in the last two videos, have been some rings at 76, and it's odd. And I came back and dug this again, and lo and behold, it's not a precious metal ring, but it is a ring nonetheless. It says Faith on it. Looks like it's been stepped on and uh, ringing up a 76 so that's ring number two out of here and ring number six for the video i believe or, or number five i've lost count of rings now i think it's six and so i'm still going i've got daylight left i'm still going to stay here there's another swim area on the lake but i don't think i'm going to go to it i think i'm just going to stay right here and keep searching this one out very very good so all right that's ring number two let's keep on rolling Rainbow's right in the lake. It's right over there. It's not very far from me where it's actually touching. Well, I got a 58 and dug it up and it, I thought it was just going to be a washer, but it's actually a ring. I can see the flat surface on the inside. 
and I don't see any markings on it or anything, but hey, that's the first ring at this other lake. That's three rings for today and seven rings for this uh, this video. So anyway, it's almost sunset and I'm going to hunt for a little bit longer, so let's keep at it. Well, this just happened. I just broke my arm cuff. I just stopped at this lake on the way home. I did find a bracelet here and found a, uh, a little ring. So I guess that's my sign to uh, go home. And so I may just call it a, a day and call this a video. Anyway, I think I'll just do the wrap up tomorrow when I get back to the house and show you guys everything I've got. All right, another week down. Another week. Had a good time this week. I think I ended up going to about uh, five or six different lakes and about 10 different swim areas over the last week and that's what everything I got here. And uh, today I actually went out, but it's the starting the things I found today was actually stuff that I'm gonna be on my next video. But I'm wore out. I've said it's been a long week, but it's been a really good week. I tell you what, I've been on a roll here lately and it's still going and it's still going for the next video as well. And so uh, let me spin you around, let me show you what I got. All right, here's all my trash. And boy, did I dig my share of trash on this trip this week. I dug up a lot of aluminum cans. There's all the foil. Here's all the aluminum caps, all the bottle caps, all the, the uh, pull tabs, all the beaver tails. Dig some fishing um, stuff up, some batteries some tent pegs or for all those uh, down at 4th of July they have those tents uh, uh, station uh, stationary with those bunch of miscellaneous junk bunch of hair bow stuff a lot of the vape pens that the kids are smoking these days some glasses there got my own little yacht and uh, got a couple of bullets a 22 bullet and I don't know what that is you might can read what that is I can't read what it is but the reason why I show you all the trash in every one of my videos is because I want you to see that not everything is treasure. We dig a lot of trash up, clean up the lakes to get a lot of the treasures as well. And so I always want to show you those things and I'll make a video. All that goes in that bucket right there until about October on my last water hunting trip. And then I'll make a video of how much stuff that I have found just trash and stuff. So that is the trash. All right. Check out this spread of treasure. I got a bunch of it this week. Let's see how many quarters I got. One, two, three, four, five, six dollars in quarters. I've got uh, 80 cents in dimes. I've got 20, 30 cents in pennies, I mean, uh, nickels. And I got uh, 51 pennies. So a lot of change this time around. I even got one little souvenir penny. I'm trying to see what the name of it is something i don't know got a bunch of earrings one stud rest of them are all these loop got several bracelets and uh got one little christian bracelet preacher digger got his cross there's mary and there's jesus and then i got uh i guess that's going to be part of a necklace i'm not real certain and then uh it rang up like silver but i don't know if, if it's silver it's going to be very thin silver it's just a uh, toe ring Got a very nice, check that out, uh, stain, I mean, that is a silver bracelet. Very nice. Then got this weird looking wolf fang. And you can see right there, it says 925. So it was ringing up like an 84. It was about in almost six foot of water. But I got down there and I got it finally. And, uh, that's just a weird find. It's going to go in my weird display case along with all this other stuff. I dug a wolfang last year as well. I got a couple of rings here. I dug this one up. It does have some markings in it. I'm not sure if that's silver or not. Ring up like in the 50s though. I got a faith ring that is smushed. We got to straighten it back out. And then I got a nice tungsten carbide. I'm oh, losing my uh, tungsten carbide ring. And that ring up really, really nice. And then here are my silver rings. I got another Madonna ring. I don't know what you call these, but uh, Mary Madonna rings, I don't know. But it's a little kid's ring. I did get a real nice, uh, I guess that was a wedding ring. You can tell it's got some age on it. 
and it's silver and guess what I tested the diamond and it's 100% real and so it's maybe a vintage ring I know in the vintage silver rings uh, the diamonds were real and so but that's a nice find and then I got this here closest I've gotten to gold this year it's a gold plated silver ring with uh, five little flowers on it right there little diamond chips in it I didn't test those yet because uh, I dug this after I had dug that one I dig on different days over a course of a week but this is gold plated silver and so that was a good week a very good week so there's all the trash and here's all the treasure like I say, the greatest treasure is not what you can find in a lake and put on your tailgate and do a wrap-up. The greatest treasure, my friends, is what can be found up in heaven. Keep searching, keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to wish everybody happy hunting and God bless. Please like and subscribe.